water. It's so special. It's what well over half of you is. Plentiful, well, 70% of the Earth's surface is a shallow puddle, but only 0.02% of its mass is water, and only 3% of that is the fresh water that we need. This odd molecule was almost custom built to create and sustain life. Its chemical structure, polarity, how and when it changes state, surface tension, viscosity, cohesion and density, chemical bonding and solvent behavior is all weird. Nature's miracle life-giving chemical conspiracy. It's why we're here. It's very scarce. And we're throwing it away. Wake and listen to the hexagon flex as they settle and creak when their crystals break. Hush and still midst nothing that moves, save the shifting of blue through its million hues. Symmetry spikes, snow castles sinking in air through a vacuum of silence, vespered and spare, on a mission of white when snow colour escapes. A last flit of drips splice the edge of the eye, now chilled to ice, still sits solidified. The spangled twig spawns its prickles of frost as the aphid learned to its mortal cost. Sarcophagi of sugar grace comatose trees, witch fingers frozen where once slipped the leaves, soft as wings whispered where the barn owl cries. and tryst at the grey mirrored lake, palaced in mist, now translucent, now opaque, where a hesitant track of delicate doe prints, placed balletically on pont, where desiccate snow glints in moon rays cold as laboratory lasers, sparkling an arc of dark lunar phases, whilst earthbound in hiding, the snowdrop bulb wakes. life. Grab some water and some carbon and make your own theory about the rest of the recipe. But around 200,000 years ago the magic formula had evolved modern man, far more adaptable than his hominin forebears and cousins, enabling him to survive and even thrive through the catastrophic climactic fluctuations of the ice age into which he had emerged. Not only did he survive and adapt, he travelled and spread pretty much everywhere.
By around ten and a half thousand years ago, the ice had receded sufficiently to allow biology, including man, to thrive in temperate climates with less energy spent on basic survival and more spent on development. Development of language, communication, tools, cooperative agriculture and the first community settlements with population stability, then growth in this warm, green, wet, productive paradise. There we have it, putting aside for a moment the perpetual tendency for one group of humans to brutally slaughter another. The platform for development and growth of our species was established, replete with all the fundamental prerequisites for life, including plentiful water, neatly in place. <laughs> 